students in the previous video we have started about the types of reactions in the combination and decomposition reaction we have seen now in this video the next one that is the third type of reaction we are going to see that is displacement reaction as the name indicates in this reaction the position of the elements changes or we can say one element takes the position or the place of the other element so how we can define the displacement reaction means those chemical reactions in which more reactive element displaces less reactive element from its aqueous salt solution this we can see with a few examples first one that is a general form something it is in the salt solution okay one compound it is in the salt solution a b two elements are present in this compound means then plus c gives a c plus b here the c this element is more reactive than b so what is doing means c is displacing the b from a that is c is taking the position of b okay so like this one element is displaced by another element then that type of reactions are called as displacement reactions clear now this reaction we will see clearly with some more examples when zinc metal is placed in copper sulfate solution then zinc sulfate and copper are formed in this reaction zinc is more reactive than copper so what will take place means zinc will displace the copper from its salt solution and zinc sulfate is formed and copper is set free so this copper will be deposited on the zinc metal and we know the color of copper is a reddish brown color will be formed on the zinc metal this reaction uh, can characterized by the color changes in this reaction copper sulfate solution its color is blue color okay copper sulfate solution is blue color then silver a white zinc metal rod will be of silvery white and after the reaction finish means we can see the blue color solution will be changed into colorless and some copper left free now that will be deposited over zinc metal in the form of reddish brown color clear so here zinc displaced the copper from its salt solution so this is an example for displacement reaction so students in this displacement reaction more reactive element only can able to displace the less reactive element for example here this copper sulfate plus silver there will be no reaction taking place why means silver is less reactive than copper so this type of reaction cannot able to takes place so for this we should know the order of the reactivity or uh, which element is more reactive than which one that order we have to know so the order of the reactivity metals can be known by the help of reactivity series or metal activity series clear so here i have given this uh, table so you have to learn this full table then only we can able to write the displacement reactions so first one is potassium i have written the element and symbol first element which is more reactive is potassium sodium barium next calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron nickel tin lead hydrogen copper mercury silver platinum gold clear so the series is uh, decreases downwards that is potassium is a more reactive metal and gold is the less reactive metal so this is the table given in our syllabus this is uh, selected elements what we are using in your 10th class that elements order is given here so you have to memorize this table then only we can able to know which element is more reactive than which one so now we have seen no copper sulfate and silver so here you can see the series copper is more reactive than silver that is silver is less reactive 
so a less reactive metal cannot able to displace the more reactive so that's why silver cannot able to displace the copper from copper sulfate that's why this reaction they're not able to take place third example we can see iron metal reacts with a dilute hcl to form ferrous chloride and hydrogen gas so that in the symbol form fe plus 2 hcl gives fecl2 that is ferrous chloride plus hydrogen gas so according to the order of the table iron is more reactive than hydrogen that's why you can able to displace hydrogen from hydrogen chloride and that place iron taking and hydrogen gas is set free next example iron oxide reacting with aluminum on heating it will give aluminum oxide plus iron and heat energy will be released so plus heat energy along the product means it represent it's a exothermic reaction this reaction has a particular name it is coming under the category of displacement reaction particularly special it is having one name that is called as thermite reaction or thermite welding reaction so when we are using this means in welding purpose okay for welding any um, iron parts iron machine parts or railway tracks if there is any broken parts happen any crack happened in a railway tracks for that we will be using this reaction why means iron will be released iron will be set free from this alum iron oxide aluminum taking this place so that iron coming out it's a highly exothermic reaction so iron coming out will be in the form of molten state so that molten iron will be used for for filling the cracks in the railway tracks that's why this reaction is called as thermite reaction or thermite welding reaction so what are the uses of this means i already told you just now that welding of railway tracks or for the broken parts of machines any other machinery parts etc okay so this is a use of thermite reaction next type of chemical reaction which we are going to study is double displacement reaction already we have studied a reaction between aqueous solution of barium chloride and sodium sulfate in this reaction a white precipitate of barium sulfate is obtained the reason behind obtaining precipitate is exchange of ions both barium chloride and sodium sulfate reacts by exchanging their ions it is the displacement of two chemical species so it is called as double displacement reaction so what is the definition for double displacement reaction means those chemical reactions in which aqueous solution of two compounds reacts by exchanging their ions to form two new compounds are called as double displacement reaction generally a double displacement reaction can be characterized by two things one is either by the formation of precipitate either by the formation of precipitate or by change in the color of the reaction already we have studied the characteristics of chemical reaction in that we have studied many characterized so here we are can able to see by two things either by formation of precipitate or by change in color either in this things will takes place or without taking this also displacement reaction can takes place but maximum there will be either a precipitate or a color change will be in the reactions here there are some examples for double displacement reactions first one lead nitrate reacts with potassium iodide lead iodide and potassium nitrate are formed here lead iodide formed is of yellow in color yellow precipitate will be formed so this is characterized by the formation of precipitate clear so in the yellow precipitate we can able to understand as a reaction double displacement reaction is going on here 
in this two chemical species they are exchanging the places so that we are getting lead iodide and potassium nitrate next example silver nitrate and sodium sulfate if they both react then we will get lead sulfate that will be as in the form of white precipitate lead sulfate will be formed in white precipitate and sodium nitrate will be formed so in this two reactions even though they are coming under double displacement reaction one more also name we can give for this any such reactions that produces a precipitate that is an insoluble substance formed in any chemical reaction they can be called as precipitation reaction clear so this we both we can say for the precipitation reactions also this both we can write as an example for precipitation reaction next example sodium hydroxide naoh reacts with hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride and water in this reaction sodium hydroxide is a base and hydrochloric acid is an acid so this is a reaction between a and base and an acid so a neutral product a salt a sodium chloride is formed in this here sodium chloride we got now that we will not get any precipitate because sodium chloride formed is soluble in water that's why in this reaction we will not get any precipitate so already i told uh, this two characteristics we can use it one is formation of precipitate or change in color without that also double displacement reaction can takes place one more thing in this reaction i want to say this is not only of double displacement reaction here we can use one more name that is this is the reaction between an acid and a base this is a reaction between an acid and a base and it's giving a neutral product a salt formed is will be of neutral product that's why this reaction can be also called as neutralization reaction clear students this we can say for an example for neutralization reaction also so in this video we have studied about displacement reaction and double displacement reactions thank you students